As we all know, Pathfinder 2nd Edition is a system of rules that allow us to create a virtual world and a virtual community and kind of play it in a tabletop experience. But there are a lot of rules, a lot of things to know, a lot of just activities that you have to keep up with in order to make sure you know how to play the game. And maybe you want to test yourself against your friends or use a flashcard type system to help you learn basic knowledge. Well, Lore Master Studios has released a new game called Pathfinder Lore Masters available both on Android and iOS that allows you to kind of test yourself. So my name is Don. I'm trying to be the Psy Strategist, and let's go ahead and get into it. So first thing to note is this was just released on October 17th, 2023, and it is available both for Android on the Google Play Store, as well as for iPhones and iPads on the App Store. So you can go ahead and get this. It is a free game. There are in-app purchases, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at that, but it basically expands the rule books you can use in order to ask more questions, but it is a little bit fun just with a free version. With that, let's go ahead and get into some actual gameplay. So I'm going to be showing you the game on a Pixel on an Android phone, but let's go ahead and take a look at what the app looks like. So when you first get here, you can go ahead and just go ahead and hit tap to start once you're on this screen and you'll have a few options. I'm new to tabletop role playing games. I've tried tabletop role playing games, but I'm new to Pathfinder or I know the basics of Pathfinder and it gives you the starting level of questions. Hit play and you're going to start running through questions. Now this first one, we're going to kind of show you what happens when you get something wrong. You get a red box and you lose some hit points. And then we can go through some basic questions and kind of get to where we can see that you will get hit points back. You get experience points to raise your level as you go through these questions. It is kind of fun. I do want you to notice that on the lower side, you have a 50-50, two shots and pass. As you continue to play the game, you are going to be getting rewards for doing things and you will be getting 50 50s and two shots and passes. So think of it as who wants to be a millionaire where you go ahead and you get extra chances to do things. 50 50 will get rid of two of the options. Two shots will allow you two chances to answer it correctly and a pass will allow you to pass the question. Now we're kind of going through just the first level, the first 10 questions and it really is pretty simple, but if you're new to the game, this is a great flashcard type system to learn what you want to do. Once the adventure is complete, you'll see how much experience you did. As you continue through the game, you can create challenges for your friends. You can see what your score is, how you got correct, how many boosters you got, what you get for the adventure being complete. And once again, the challenge tab shows you if you or one of your friends has done a challenge and what the status of that is. Now to show you some parts of the app that you won't see necessarily. So if you haven't played any challenges yet, it'll tell you if you have played challenges, it will go ahead and set you through. You can purchase additional books in order to get more questions. And you can also use that from the ones you purchased for the book selected. Once again, you go to the challenge tab and you can see the challenges that you are either playing or have played as well as onboarding. This is the initial screen that you went through. You can click on your icon in the up in the top center and you can pick your avatar, change your display name and look at your progression as you go through the levels. If you also were to click in the upper right, you can go ahead and see some of the development updates as they are going through and what updates are coming through the app. And on the left, if you hit the settings, you can go ahead and see the settings for the app, what your idea is, what the app version is, as well as everything else that's associated with this particular game. Now I'm just going to continue to show a little bit of gameplay here, but once again, I think this would be very fun if you had a group of people and were doing challenges and see kind of who won with the knowledge base of the game, as well as once again, if you are just starting out, you can go ahead and learn this as like a flashcard system. Some other things to note is as you go through some of these challenges, you can go ahead and select higher levels of questions and you get more experience points or more hit points back depending on what you want to do. It kind of is a good way to learn some of the basics of the game 
in a fun format that allows you to participate with others if you so choose to do that. Now, as you can see, I've downloaded the game and that was literally on my phone and that's literally my ID that I had there. And I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. I played it for about, you know, 15 minutes. It just came out today, probably within a couple hours after this review, and I have sat down and played with it. It was fun. It was interesting. Did I get some wrong? I sure did, and I was surprised at kind of the ones I got wrong. But that's okay. This is how you learn, and you can go through and play. It has lore sections. It has rule sections. It has classes. There are a bunch of different types of questions, and this will help you kind of learn things as well as, let's say you can't, you're only playing once a week or once every two weeks and you want a little fix a pathfinder in your day. Well, you can kind of go here and take a look and maybe do the challenges to your friends and they can do it at their leisure. So as a free game, I fully recommend this. I think it's a lot of fun. I think it is something to do. Would I pay for additional books at this time? No, but you know, as we get further along, and as I play more and more and I want more of a challenge, I could see myself purchasing additional books. They weren't that expensive, although once again, it is an in-app purchase. So you know how that goes. It can kind of get out of hand. But I do hope you like this little review. I did enjoy the game. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. But whatever you do, I hope you have a great day and happy adventuring. Thanks.